Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be talking about everything you guys need to know about veganism versus being vegetarian and also how to become vegan. I know that when I wanted to be vegan, there were a lot of questions that I had and I didn't know how to get started. And I watched Kalel's video, but I think she actually deleted it, which makes me really sad. So I kind of feel like I need to fill the void a little bit of like how to become vegan. And I feel like last year, Freely kind of shoved the idea down people's throat. And I don't think she really explained too well how to start being a vegan. And I know that's a really, really hard step to do because it's really difficult to cut out a lot of things of your diet that you might eat every day anyway. Um, and there's a lot of things you have to look out for and to be educated on. So first off, let's start with the difference between vegetarian and veganism. So being vegan is when you consume or wear nothing animal products. You use no animal product things whatsoever. So when it comes to the diet, that's no eggs, dairy, meat, cheese, milk, fish, everything of that sorts. Vegetarian is no meat. Um, so you still have, you know, eggs and cheeses and milks and stuff like that, but just no chicken, cows, pigs, fish, whatever. Pescatarian is when you're a vegetarian, but you do eat fish. I highly, highly recommend, after you guys are done watching this video, to watch documentaries. I will link some of the best down below. But they really help you a lot because you get to see the animal abuse, you get to see where your food comes from, you get to see everything. So if you guys are very interested, watch the documentaries and definitely buy the book Skinny Bitch. Get it on your phone. That's the best way to read it all the time. I would read it during class. Um, and now I always pull it up just for like quick little facts and stuff. If I want to look something up, I always have it on my phone. But in that, it doesn't talk so much about the animal abuse. Yes, there's a part of it that does talk about the animal abuse, but for me, it was really for the health reasons. And that's the entire reason I started being vegan was because of the health. Um, I didn't like my body at the time before I was vegan. Truthfully, only went vegan for the health reasons, and I knew that because, you know, I do carry leather bags still, and I do use MAC makeup, you know what I mean? And I completely, completely, completely respect your choice if you are vegan and you don't consume animal products and you don't use animal products and whatever it might be, you don't carry leather, whatever it might be, I completely respect that. And I also completely respect if you aren't vegan and I completely respect if you, you know, whatever you choose to do in your life, I respect it because it's not my life to live and it's your choice and at the end of the day, if it makes you happy, by all means, go do it. And me personally, I am vegan. I prefer the term plant-based because that's what I eat. I'm not a vegan because I don't live the vegan lifestyle. I eat plant-based, which is the same as eating vegan. So yeah, I'm plant-based, my diet is plant-based, but other than that, my life is normal. I know a lot of people would disagree with that, but I also hope you guys can respect my decision just as much as I respect your decision to do whatever you guys want to. So I just want to get that out of the way because I know I'm going to get some people saying like, oh, you can't call yourself vegan if you, you know, aren't fully vegan. So I say vegan for the convenience of it, but I know I'm not a vegan. I know I eat plant-based. So let's get into how you guys can start eating plant-based, vegan, whatever we're gonna call it. I'm gonna call it vegan for the sake of the video. Let's get into how you guys can do that and get started on that. So if you want, you can definitely do it in increments. I personally quit cold turkey and I thought for me that was the best way. So what I would challenge you guys to do is be cold turkey vegan for one week. No meat, no eggs, no cheese, no milk, no nothing dairy, no animal products, no gelatin, no whey. <laughs> if you guys are like, well, what does that leave me to eat? You can eat fruits, veggies, nuts, grains, bread. You can eat bread. But I really want you to focus on eating whole food. You know, if you guys are going to the store and you're getting Oreos because Oreos are vegan, that's not going to help you feel better about yourself. What I, I'm going to break it down what I would normally have for breakfast, lunch, and dinner on a daily basis. I'm also going to do what I eat in a day videos. Um, my mom and I also have a vegan plant-based Instagram. If you guys want to follow it, it's called Carby Dolls. We post our meals. Um, it's, still, it's still starting out, so we only have a few meals up there, but they're really good recipes and they're really easy to do too, so I'm going to link that down below if you guys want to check it out. My mom and I are going to be posting on it a lot more because my mom is also vegan, and I'll get into how she got vegan in a little bit. I'll break it down what I normally eat. So in the mornings, I always have fruit. Um, I live off carbs. I'm just going to say that right now. Carbs are the best thing ever, and I know right now the whole thing's like low carbs, no carbs. Oh, I'm cutting out carbs, but like... Why? Carbohydrates are the best thing ever because it's sugar and your brain needs sugar to be happy, energized, and full. 
So any sugar that is extra and left over is stored and it's burned throughout the day, so you eat less and you stay fuller longer and you have more energy all day and it speeds up your metabolism and you're just burning calories and you're just burning everything in your body a lot quicker. So I love carbs, it's what I have all day long. You're gonna realize in a minute that literally all I eat is carbs. I also wanna reiterate that there's a difference between simple carbs and complex carbs. You wanna have the complex carbs. Those are like fruits, veggies, grains, rice, um, some breads, not all breads, whole wheat pastas, quinoa, barley, you know, stuff like that. And then you have simple carbs, which are like cereals and uh, pretzels and just like, some granolas and I don't know, just carbs that just run right through you because they just burn up really quickly and they're just empty carbs. You just put them in your body, it's just empty calories, you just, they just sit there and you burn them off really quickly and they don't do anything good for you, they don't fill you up, they don't give you nutrients, they just are sort of something to throw in your body when you're hungry, but then you're going to be hungry again in 15 minutes. You want complex carbs, they break down slower, they need more time to process in your body, and they feed your body with nutrients that you need. When we talk about carbs here, I'm talking about complex carbs, not simple carbs. So the morning, breakfast, I always like fruit, I also love smoothies, I love oatmeal, I love pancakes. So my favorite pancakes ever are banana oat pancakes, and it's one banana, one handful of oats, a little bit of cinnamon, a little bit of vanilla, and that's it. I normally put some vegan chocolate chips in there, and then I put some vegan butter on the pan. Oh my god, it's so good with a lot of maple syrup. Woo! That is what I'm talking about right there. It's an easy way to have healthy, complex carbs in a delicious pancake form. For my smoothies, I love my vegan protein powder, my best one ever. Oh god, I have to look for it. I'll have it linked down below. I think it's like Vegemite, not Vegemite, it's like veggie protein. Make sure that your protein powder doesn't have whey in it. I really do believe in protein powder because as a vegan, it is kind of hard to get your protein because you're not eating meat. But also I want you guys to think about it. Cows, whatever meat you guys are eating, they eat grass and grains and stuff, which is protein. So they eat that and then it digests. So we eat secondhand protein. And yes, while muscle does have protein, we're also eating the protein that they consume so we can just get it firsthand from stuff that the earth provides us. But for my smoothies, I'll have protein powder. Oh, I love acai rolls. I'll put acai in it, any frozen fruit, normally a banana, agave, cinnamon, chia seeds. You need to get your omega-3s because you don't have fish anymore, no salmon, anything like that. You get your omega-3s through chia seeds. They're amazing for your body. They do wonders. Highly recommend them. So I'll put a ton of spinach in there. Um, I blend it all up and it tastes amazing. Lunch, I normally have kind of whatever I feel like. Normally I would have like apples and peanut butter, carrots and hummus. Um, sometimes I'll make, oh my god, my favorite thing ever is roasted veggies. I don't know why, but I'm like obsessed with them. I make roasted veggies with salt, pepper, garlic salt, and then seasoned salt, and then I add in um, vegetable broth. Oh my god, it is so good. I don't really care too much for lunch. Lunch is a weird time for me. I'm always just sort of like whatever is around me I'll eat. I'll have leftovers from the night before, so I might have like spaghetti, I might have soup, um, I might have more fruit. It really just depends on like what my body wants at that time. For a snack, I normally have a banana. I love avocado toast. I always have avocado toast. Um, I'll have popcorn, chips and guac, more leftovers, more fruit. Yeah, that's pretty much what I have for snacks. And then for dinner is where I pig out and I love dinner. I love burrito bowls. My mom made really good tacos the other night with jackfruit. If you guys really miss like taco meat, pulled pork, anything like that, get jackfruit. It's not fake meat. I personally hate fake meat. I think it tastes really bad and it freaks me out to be completely honest. If you guys want like pulled pork, jackfruit is so good. It's a fruit and it doesn't taste like a fruit. Oh my god, it is so good. I'm obsessed with jackfruit. And veggie burgers are so good. When you eat out though, be careful of veggie burgers. A lot of times I put egg in it just to, like it's a binding ingredient, so make sure you guys ask. I love spaghetti. That is like one of my faves. Marinara sauce. I found this really good vegan pesto sauce. I really like garlic and oil. That's like my favorite thing. Garlic oil and salt on like noodles is just so good. It kind of tastes like butter. Vegan pizza, it's very easy to order pizza out and have it be vegan. You really just get it without cheese. You make sure that the bread and the sauce don't have cream or milk in them or eggs in them or anything. Um, most of the time they don't. Domino's Thin Crust Original Tomato Sauce is totally vegan. Um, I love stir fries. My mom makes this really good like Asian stir fry. It is so good. And then for dessert, vegan ice cream. Ben and Jerry's released amazing vegan ice cream. It is so good. My favorite flavor is 
oh god, what is it? Peanut butter and cookie, I think it is. And also, I really like Chunky Monkey. It's like banana flavored, but I really think it's good. It's so yum. I also like little bread rounds, and then I put peanut butter on them, banana. I put granola on it, a little bit of vegan yogurt, agave, and chia seeds. So good to die for. I'm obsessed with it. I think it tastes amazing. I always have like vegan chocolate chips around the house, so I'll just pop them in at night because they taste really good. Sometimes you're just like in a mood for chocolate. Sometimes I'll melt it, and then I'll dip strawberries in it. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much like what I eat. So I hope that helps you guys, you know, learn how to eat. Hi, it's Tori here. Um, there's something that I wanted to say that I forgot to talk about, but I know the huge excuse for why you can't be vegan is because it's really inconvenient for you, or it's hard to, you're at college, you're at school, um, you can't cook for yourself, whatever the reason might be, I just want to say that there are no excuses to not trying it out. And I really think I went through like the hardest struggle to remain vegan while I was down in Alabama for college because Alabama is home of the milk and the cheese and the dairy and the meat and the everything unhealthy for you and everything not vegan, it's the land of. So I was there and I was there for an entire semester and I was able to stay vegan for the entire semester. My dining hall had a vegetarian option, but it was the same thing every single day. So that doesn't always taste that good. And I, my meal plan was through my sorority house, not the dining hall, so I couldn't really get too much of the dining halls. So this is what I would do when I was at college to stay vegan. I would get, let me go get them, hang on. I would get these all the time. These are the Dr. McDouglas vegan soups. This one is my favorite. It's the black bean and rice lower sodium. This is like comparable to ramen. They have a ramen one of this too, since ramen isn't vegan. They do have a ramen flavored one like this. Um, they have a whole bunch of these vegan soups. They sold this at my school, which was really nice. And also I bulked it on Amazon. I also brought a Nutribullet to school and I would like steal bananas from the dining halls and I would steal apples. Um, there was a grocery store, so I'd go in a grocery shop. I'd spend about $30 a week on my groceries and I would just pretty much get like oats for oatmeal, any oatmeal supplies. I get granola, oatmeal, almond milk, um, craisins. I would also get pasta, like boxes of pasta, and I would cook it in the microwave. It's really easy. I would also keep a jar of marinara sauce in my fridge. So I'd get minute rice, that was a huge lifesaver. And I would put that in the microwave and then I'd mix in marinara sauce with it. I'd also get little cans of like black beans and corn and I would make my own little stir fries in my dorm. Um, it was really, really easy easy to eat vegan in college if you put in the work and if you put in the effort. Um, and then also, you know, whenever I would have like a movie night with my friends or something, I would just go downstairs to our little like convenience shop in the bottom of my dorm and I would get Oreos. So they also had this Jamba Juice thing where it was like smoothies. And that was really great because it wasn't the ones that had dairy in them. It was just like the sugar fruit. It was amazing. So I would go get those like once a day. I would have one of those and that was like a big sugary thing of fruit. So that would really fill me up in the mornings and I would kind of eat that whenever. I would get Chipotle a lot because there was a Chipotle around um, the corner from my dorm. So I would go there a lot and eat a lot of Chipotle. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I just wanted to like explain to you guys that I know there's always excuses as to why it's hard to be a vegan right now in this very moment. But if you're really interested in it and if you're really dedicated in it you can do it yeah I just wanted to explain that really quick okay back to the video I think that is all I'm going to talk about today I hope you guys all enjoyed this video if you did be sure to give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments down below um, if you guys have any questions leave them down there I'm going to try my absolute best to answer as many as I can talk to you guys all in my next video bye